March towards the beer. Marching towards the beer. No, <laughs> what beer? From the home brewers. Not this one. We'll see. This is a Seven. I give it that. Uh, it tastes like it says. So it's seven. Rated. It's got a shell. It's not too heavy. Yeah, no, no. Nice. For being dark like this. That so other. what would you rate it? Oh, probably an eight. Brewery. This is their apricot wheat. It's located between Lewisburg and uh, Milton. But apricot wheat. Tequila. Tequila. I call her Tequila. Uh, not too bad. A little bit heavy in the mouth compared to other apricot wheats I've had. But it's not sweet at all, which is good. Too much wheat. Uh, too much wheat, in my opinion. I'll give it a six. Front House Brewery. A different scale for IPAs. I'm going to rate them from 15 to 20. 15 being equal to a one. Uh, three. <laughs> no. 18. IPAs, IPAs get 18. This boy. Continuity. Continuity is going out the window. All right, but um, yeah, it's a wheat beer. Obviously, they're they're everywhere. If you don't know what Magic Head is. Uh, perfect. I give it an eight. Chin up. Chin up. IPA. It's a very full beer. I mean, it's uh, not as hoppier as some um, IPAs that you usually get, like down the brew pub and whatnot. But it's very tasty, very crisp, um, very hoppy. I give it a. Uh, IPAs are rated from 15 to 20, remember. I'd give it a 16. Okay. Not a fan. Tastes like peanuts. Gotta drink it, then you, then you. Uh, Lancaster Brewing Company, Pilsner. Good, nothing to write home about. Five. I kissed an engine cow who gave me milk and cheese. Now I'm lying on my back with hoof and mouth disease. Cheers! Hi. <laughs> Okay. It tastes like the way B.O. smells. Wasting valuable B-roll. Oh yeah, B-roll, B-roll, B-roll. It's alright. Look at that B-roll. Mm. I'm gonna drink some water. I give it an 8. At last I met the perfect girl, and her I will adore. She's deep, dumb, and oversexed, and she owns a liquor store! Eight. Eight. It's good. It doesn't taste like a trick. Name the, uh... No, I mean, somebody could quote me on this. It was like, nickname the Grand Yeah. Grand Men. Grand Men. Grand Men. Grand Men. Grand Men. And I would say it's a crispy triple. It's, uh, very, very, very intoxicating. Uh, very refreshing. You know, I'm gonna cut most of this out. I'm giving it, um, uh, 8 out of 10. Bahakken water from, if I can say, it's from Northumberland, Pennsylvania. It's brewed in Northumberland. It's a very, very good drink if you want to recover from your intoxicating alcoholic ventures. Red, so. yeah. I'm good. I would give this water probably, right now, in my level of intoxication, probably a 10 out of 10. Uh, their lager. Good. It's very light looking. I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it on the scale of Yingling. Yeah. Because uh, it seems 26 like they're going for their market. To 32. 26 to 30. <laughs> no, it's it's, it's, it's gonna be, like for the big brewers if they give me a lager, like bigger. Straub isn't bigger, but I still like, recognize them. It's not. It's not a one. It's not a one place operation. Oh, okay. But uh. It's, is it better or worse than England? I guess Susquehanna University one. Better, but I'm not gonna drink it all oh, the time. Oh, like seven years old. Asshole. IBA, not IPA. Tastes like an IPA. I would give it a good, um, like an eight. It doesn't taste, doesn't taste too bad. Uh, hammer and, hammer and L. 
six. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> this is Straub's. This is Straub's All American Classic Lager. On a scale of one to Yingling, as I think that James also rated it. I'd give it a seven on a scale of one to Yingling. Two by four out of ten. That's, that's a really slow pan there, Bill. I like the hammer and ale. So, alright, IPA, so we're rating it from 15 to 20. 16. Brooklyn Lager, no, Brooklyn Pennant Ale, 55. I just got this water to dip my hands in the ice. Two! Brew Works. Blueberry. Four. IPA. No, she's a sweet. It's not an IPA, never mind. She's a sweet girl. Three, it's really... You can taste, this is all taste the barley. Oh. Yeah. This is going to be on Facebooks. On the Facebooks. <laughs> is it red? I piss on my forehead every morning. That's how I clean my face. It's... There you go. The wheat beer first. It has lemongrass, but... Not so lemony. 7.2. Winter match, Imperial Stout, Russian. It smells nutty ish. It's almost as like the first beer on the list, uh, that Rocket 9. I don't like it. I'm gonna give it a 4. I like this product. I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Five and a half. Iron Brewery, which is my favorite type of beer. Go to beer. The cheap beer? Yeah, the cheap beer. Alright. Pale ales are rated from 15 to 20. Oh. That is nice. Doesn't have any. Oh, no, yeah. IPAs are rated for 15 to 20. I'm sorry. Pale ales. One to ten. One to ten? Yeah. I give this an eight. I, it's, it's got good hops at first, but it doesn't have a bitter aftertaste in the whole pale ale set. Fair, fair. I think a seven. It's a good solid seven. It needs more hot flavor in my taste. Really? Yeah. Fifteen. Low on the IPA scale. Well, Nineteen, damn good, really good. Cash. Fuck you, Uh, Captain Drinkable. That's a good name. Unfiltered check pills from the Bullfrog. Really good, uh, like an eight. Like you can you can smell the unfilteredness, whatever that means. Like it smells like a sewer, but it tastes really good. Panache is made with uh, peach puree, so you think it's gonna taste sweet. What is it? The aroma is really good and sweet, like uh, peach aroma, but it tastes just like a good, sturdy, strong beer. Really, really well done. What would you rate it? Uh, I give it an eight and a half. I'd have to agree. Some is Vidute, coffee saison. This area is lighter in color, but it's called coffee. Let's see what it tastes like. It smells like coffee. Coffee aftertaste, but like straight on the tongue, nice and bubbly, really light flavor. Can I actually, smell it? yeah. It smells like coffee. Interesting. Diverse beer. Good diverse beer. I'm gonna give it a nine. It's really good. And I'm biased. I'm gonna say that straight up. I'm just upset. Cider from Autos. Tell me how it is. Oh, I love Autos. Got it rated on the cider scale, which is uh, do or don't. If you drink it cider, do it.
semi uh, semi sweet rather than semi dry. Do or don't on the side on the cider scale. Now to your flavor, sweeter. And unless you like sugar, don't drink it. Okay, Autos IPA, the DD IPA stands for a designated driver. Because why the fuck not? Uh, Alright. You gotta clean. I'm gonna go try to help you. 19, 19. Fucking best IPA in here I've tried all day. Vines and Vines uh, Festival. Getting towards the end. I only got 20 minutes left, that means we got a rally. I wanna get some more of that sangria. But meanwhile, I'll be RB. One of my favorite beers I've tried so far, the Wit Beer from the Suns Grove Brewing Company. Pretty good. Better than their porter. Yeah. Uh, nine. Wait, wait, stand still. You don't need that much resolution. Sam, Ad Sam Adams Boston Lager, so we rate it on the scale of better than Yingling or not. Better. This is a Brooklyn Lager because we're rating lagers against Yingling. Better or worse than Yingling? One to Yingling. Brooklyn Lager. Look at the head on that. That's nice. That good. It, they basically gave me the rest of the bottle, so it was, it was an already open bottle. It's been percolated. Yes. Good term. And you know he always has been! Look at that! Hoppier. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to smack your head like I that. I was talked into it. It wasn't my choice. Can I take a picture, baby? <laughs> of course. And how are you? I'm sorry. Better. Do you remember the Better. All the way from Michigan, the yeah. cherry something you know, else. I remember? I'm beer advocate. Too sweet. They're one of the best beers. Tastes like cherries though. Seven if you like cherries, three if you don't.